If you're a space enthusiast, you need to know what happens when astronauts get stranded in space. Let's dive in. It all started as a routine mission on June 5th. Two astronauts, Sunita Williams and Butch Owens, highly trained and prepared, launched into space, ready for their assignment aboard the International Space Station. The world watched in awe as they left Earth's atmosphere in Boeing's new Starline crew capsule, embarking on journey that was supposed to be a week-long test voyage on the ISS. But then, the unthinkable happened. A serious technical malfunction left them stranded, unable to return home as planned. Their one-week mission turned into nearly a year in space, testing the limits of human endurance. NASA and international space agencies scrambled to find solutions, working around the clock to bring them home safely. After months of uncertainty, a rescue mission was launched. Engineers devised a plan to bring them home using an uncrewed spacecraft, carefully calculating every detail to ensure their safe return. Finally, the day arrived. Touchdown. The world held its breath as the capsule parachuted safely into the ocean. They had survived, but as their feet touched solid ground for the first time in nearly a year, a new challenge awaited. Earth's gravity. Spending so much time in microgravity takes a serious toll on the body. The astronauts faced muscle and bone loss. Without gravity, their muscles and bones weakened. They now need months of rehabilitation to regain their strength. Balance issues. Their inner ears, which help with balance, have adjusted to weightlessness. Now even standing is a challenge. Vision changes. The lack of gravity increased pressure in their eyes, leading to potential long-term vision problems. Weakened immune system. Studies show that immune function declines in space, leaving them more vulnerable to illness upon return. Despite the hardships, these astronauts knew the risks and they wouldn't change a thing. Their mission wasn't just about survival. It was about pushing the boundaries of human exploration. And the lessons learned from their journey? They'll help us prepare for the next giant leap, sending humans to Mars. What do you think? Could you handle life in space for nearly a year? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more space updates and always... Keep looking up. Keep looking.